Hey Rollers, this video will be quite different from my other ones. I was invited to compete at a submission only tournament. Hey, that's me. The rules were simple. All submissions were legal, winner got cash, and if there were no submissions after 10 minutes, there would be no cash. I trained fairly hard for this event and I had a few combinations ready to surprise my opponent. There was a small crowd, it was locally televised, and there were commentators. Speaking of that, I'm going to chill out this time and let these gentlemen take over. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Matt is a decorated wrestler from the U of R. Um, he's a blue belt under AJ. He's fought professional MMA. And he's known for the flying armbar. One of Matt's crowning moments in life is the flying armbar he submitted. Nearly 10 years ago, Matt was able to submit uh, MMA fighter Miles Anstead. So we'll have to watch Matt carefully. He can finish it at any time. And I'm excited to see some wrestling and some, and some slick jiu-jitsu as well. Craig Wicks here is a purple belt out of Prince Albert. And it looks like he has a couple wins here. Absolute champ, advanced oh. champ in the 2015, 2016. That was cool. Fedler went for an underhook to try to get some control in the wrestling position there. Yeah. And, and what Wicks did was he really ranked in the arm like John Bones Jones oh. does in the UFC. And that was close. You know, and then Fedler had to bail on it to... to to not have to submit there. So I think Wick's got some game. Oh, look at this. Yes, triangle looks like Wick is very right away. tight. That's a tight triangle. That's got to turn the corner. Cut the corner. coming out. Yeah, it looks like Wick's got a dangerous guard here. So uh, Matt's going to have to be very careful. Yeah, and Wick's got a resume on him here. It's 20, 2016 sub-series belt, the absolute and the advanced level. Uh, middleweight Gi 2015 Northern Grapplers Advanced Middleweight No Gi Gold. So that's a resume in itself as well. Matt's able to work to a pass. Although he's got to be able to secure this because uh, from what little we've seen so far from Craig, he's uh, showing he's very adept at uh, throwing up a submission when you least expect it. Yeah, I think what we're hearing from AJ here is that Matt should take his time in this position, which I, I think is a good move. Yeah. Tried to step over a little quick here. Obviously, Wick's got submissions from every angle, so you have to be aware with your movement and take your time. So I think it looks like Craig's trying to set up something, controlling the head. Looks yeah, like maybe an armbar or triangle. Oh, and Matt oh, drops a little bit to of a, a sweep. Looks like he's going for a leg lock. Oh, it looks like he lost it. Oh, heel hook attempt. I don't think that's going to no, go, though. Uh, he's, um, Craig's already out. That was a nice drop back for a submission by Matt. Good match so far. Yeah. This doesn't look like the, something you want to spend your time in, in uh, Craig's guard. Oh, and that's what AJ's been saying here. He's saying to Matt, be careful. Don't stay in the guard too long. Stay active here in this position. You see how Matt's bringing his foot up? To kind of control Craig's left leg. He's going to try to pass using that. And I think Craig's looking to get control of the neck in some way to help either get a sweep or, or a submission off that. Ah, like nice a, by Matt. That was a nice pass. Craig set uh, that up, took his time. flexible. He's able to get back in here. And he's that leg is stopping Matt from really controlling the side. And we're going to have to see some good control here by Matt. Yeah. Lots of pressure. Keep Craig, uh, Craig's back to the mat. Don't give him much space. Yeah, you don't want to let Craig get his hips loose there. And again, Craig, excellent. Works yeah, he's him back really, to the guard. really good at getting his guard back. Isolating Matt's left arm. We'll and right, right to a submission here. He's looking yeah. for a Kimura. Oh, he's going for the leg on it. Yeah, Matt's definitely got to be aware that that arm is getting isolated. Oh, if he's able to break. Good defense by Fedler. Here we got Craig with the overhook on with his right arm.
possible setup for an arm bar there if he's able to uh, get that extend get uh, Matt's arm extended. Rolling with a guy like Craig can be really frustrating because yeah. you work really hard. You get you get past the guard, and all of a sudden he's so slick at getting it back, and you're back to square one. Yeah. So I think that uh, Matt's got to stay focused, continue to work. You know, every time you pass the guard, you know that's giving you more momentum. So he needs to keep working here. And if, if Matt gets frustrated, that's where Craig will catch him with the submission. Cardio is also going to play a little role in this yeah. as well. I think you don't want to get tired with Craig either. Uh, Matt's got good shoulder pressure in the Craig here. I think uh, if he's might, if Matt's able to get passed into the uh, side control there, he should maintain the side control and uh, work from there. It looks like the minute you give Craig any sort of uh, ability to move, he's uh, either getting you in trouble or getting you back into his guard. Well, Craig looking for that Kimura again, but Matt's got a good position here. He's got the head and arm control now. He can look for an uh, arm triangle, but he yep. should really utilize this to at least get past that guard. Yep. Yeah. Oh, now that, now that this it's looks good here. to the ground. Oh, his oh. leg got caught. He was trying to step his leg over, a caught in Craig's guard, which doesn't mean this position is over. It's he's just got to continue to fight that leg free. It's possible to get the submission here, but it's going to be a lot tougher now. Oh, oh, now, now it looks even now more it's, difficult. Yeah, now that he's back to the... Uh, other side. Excellent defense by Craig. Yeah, geez, Craig has definitely shown he's a... He's a high-level purple belt. A very, very talented grappler. Four minutes, Four minutes. We're approached four minutes remaining in this bout. So it's time for both guys to really bear down and focus on these submissions. Oh. Got some, uh, looks like a Gatakatami from the bottom here, which Craig may be trying to go for, which would be the arm triangle. Oh, escape from Matt. Here we get them moving into the uh, center of the mat here. Start, start over, we don't want anybody come falling off the platform. So Matt gets to start in the mount position as they had left off before the break. So Feather really can just take his time here. Try and isolate an arm. Probably try to get his knees a little higher underneath yeah. Craig's armpits eventually over time. But like, like we've noticed, if you give Craig an inch, he's going to make movement on that. So keeping, keeping the position really tight is, is important for Matt here. Looks like he's got an isolating the right arm of Craig's. That does. Matt can go for the back. If he um, if he stops, that looks like Craig's getting his left arm out. Yeah, that could be an opportunity for Matt to take his back there, but it looks like Craig is flattened himself out again. So this is where Matt's just got to continue to stay heavy. Quick, quick. Stay heavy and continue to look to trap an arm. Yeah. Isolate one, free up the your free two arms to attack. That's what we see he's doing here. See now, if, if Matt's, if Matt can put his, put his all his weight down on that wrist, he'll be able to slide his left hand through, lock up a uh, Kimura grip, and then go for the finish. There we go. This could be a good position for Matt here. He's got to he's got to stay keep, heavy, keep sliding his left arm under, could keep connected. working for that. He's got the, he's got the arm trapped on the other side as well. So, but look at Craig's working right away back to that, get his guard back out of it. See, Matt, Matt would have been able to control it a little more easier if he'd, uh, once he's holding down the wrist, use his body weight just to hold that wrist down. Exactly. You can't get any space Possible straight arm bar attempt here. Yeah, this has an opportunity to be something yeah. for Matt. If he can. Oh, good defense by Craig. He's able to get his arms back into a nice bit of defense here. And you can hear Coach AJ Scales encouraging Matt to really push here in a, in a, in a, oh, there's an armbar attempt here by Matt Fedler. It looks like it's got if can. relatively tight, but it looks like Craig has uh, kind of freed himself out of the immediate danger and will probably likely get out of this. He does. 
we got about 90 seconds left in this match. And we'll, uh, we'll see what uh, Craig can do from uh, top side, con or side mount. A wrestler never likes to be on his back like this. But now Matt Feather does have some experience in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is a blue belt. He'll be a little bit more comfortable than the average wrestler. Um, but this is definitely an opportunity for Craig to, to try to mount a, a, late, a late submission here. That's got to be aware to keep his neck, uh, tuck, chin tucked into his chest there. Otherwise, it's always a attempt for a guillotine choke. And Craig has now isolated Matt's left arm, which is giving him a little bit more opportunity to trap Matt's left arm. 30 seconds left in the match here. We should see these guys uh, throw everything they can after getting into a finish. These two, these two held a, a quite a good pace. Uh, very yeah. good match for this 10 minutes. It's going to fall. Oh, and they both go for it. Oh, he oh, got it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Matt Fedler. Excellent last That's what he does. Match. He can surprise a crowd in a heartbeat. Excellent job there. By wow. <laughs> there was less than two. There's about 15, 20 seconds left. That was the fight. last gas hope, and, and he made it and work. They and both went for it. You've seen them both reach back for his and leg. And you know what? Why not in a situation like this? Yeah. Why not go for it? That was an excellent match. And you, you've seen it right when, they, right when uh, they said 30 seconds left in this fight. That was fantastic finish. They both, they both jumped back for the leg, and uh, Matt was able to get it a little little faster. It's an <laughs> excellent, excellent match. Matt Feller knows how to win. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, that's what this kid does. He goes out there, knows how to win. I was really impressed with Craig's yeah. abilities. Craig's abilities. That was yeah, obviously, I was disappointed with the way that match went. In the unlikely event that anyone is still watching, thank you for that. Also, thanks to Max TV and Bamboo Shoots Productions for allowing me to share this.